Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. Um, what I'm going to do is just lay some ribbons of color down and then I am going to smear over those to get hopefully get some lacing and then I'm going to do some balloon kisses and I do want a lot of negative space today. So let's go over my paints. My base coat is going to be a combination of Blick White and uh, Amsterdam Yellow Medium. And it's a really, really pretty pale, pale yellow color there. And there you can see consistency, it is very thick. And I'll go over my pouring medium in a minute. The colors I'm going to use for the ribbons are Porage Posse Paint, Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer, Amsterdam Grayish Blue, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, and the last one is called Mysterious. It's a color that I made up. So check out Gail Burston's channel. She will give you the recipe for this color, Mysterious. It used to be a color that was made by Art Minds, but was discontinued. So my uh, balloon kiss flowers today, I'm going with all uh, reflex colors by Amsterdam. They're very bright. The first one is their reflex, reflex yellow. The next one is their reflex orange. And the last one is their Reflex Rose. Okay, pouring medium today is a little bit different. It's on the thicker side. It is 60% Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge, and 10% GAC 800. And I will have that all listed in the description. For my swipe colors, I went with um, Amsterdam Titanium White. And I also may use the Amsterdam um, Prussian Blue. And that pouring medium was three parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put my base coat down, clean up my paints, and then bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've put down my base coat of the Blick White and Amsterdam Yellow Medium. And here I'm just putting down my colors for my ribbon. And that first one is the uh, Liquitex Basics Daxazine Purple. And I am speeding this up a little bit, this part of the video. And this color is the um, Amsterdam Grayish Blue. And that's that mysterious color that I had made up. And the last color is um, the Porage Posse Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. And now I'm just showing you my palette knife. And I do end up using um, both the Amsterdam White and the um, Amsterdam uh, Prussian blue, the titanium white and the Prussian blue to go over my um, colors there. And if you hear noise in the background, we are having a thunderstorm here. Oh, as I'm doing this voiceover. This big storm coming our way. Here I'm just giving it a quick torch to see what kind of lacing or cells that I get to come up. And I'm doing a little bit of tilting, although I don't expect my paint to uh, run very far or very fast at all because this is quite a thick um, paint that I'm using here. And I found that to be able to do the, um, the uh, balloon kiss, flowers you do need a thick paint so they can hold up here i'm just taking my palette knife and giving a few extra um, things for the eye to look at and here again i'm taking my small palette knife and i'm adding a little bit more of that um, 
Titanium White by Amsterdam. My swipe color. Just pushing some of the paint out here. Here I'm showing you my balloon where I did add my reflex colors to it. And now I'm just starting my um, dipping where I'm making my little balloon kiss flowers. And I, I put down the pink first and there's that orange. And yellow on top. And now I'm just going to dip the balloon in those. So you see I twist my wrist a little bit. Sometimes you have to dip your balloon in your base coat a few times if you have a lot of paint down to thin it down a little bit so that your, um, your balloon kiss colors will take. I use my finger a little bit to spread the paint out give a little more accent to the flowers. Here I'm just dipping my balloon in my purple color there and um, spreading that out a little bit in really all the colors that I laid down for my ribbon. Just pulling my ribbon colors out a little bit there in light columns. Just adding a little more interest there to the painting. I think that purple and uh, light yellow just go really nice together. You can really hear the thunder here now. Here I'm adding the pink. The ref reflex rose is actually the color that I just added. Just dipping my balloon in those. Oh, now I'm adding some of the yellow. Of all the colors that didn't show up very well, that yellow really didn't show up too well with the, uh, the flower dips there. There I'm just using a little cotton ball with some saran wrap wrapped around it when I'm trying to make little tiny flowers. Again, I think I'm making just a column of flowers here. And I added a little bit of that uh, Parage Posse Evergreen Shimmer to this one. And see again how I'm twisting my wrist to make those flowers. Just enhancing it. So make sure that you do go to the description and check out my pouring medium. I am going to list it. It does make that thick pouring medium, and which is really good for doing these uh, balloon kiss flowers. Make sure that if you have any questions at all or comments to leave them for me and I will get back to you if you any questions on how I do these little flowers. Here I am again just drawing out those ribbon colors. I 
It really is fun to play with your painting. Just continuing here to work on those flowers. And I do clean my balloon off in between flowers there. And I was very careful not to dip too much because I don't want my paints to get muddied at all. Here I decide that I need some flowers that are just kind of like free floating on the painting. Again there, I think I used a little bit of that mysterious color on, on these flowers. Just using my finger to make a little stem there. As you can see, I not only add flowers next to the ribbon, but I do make little flowers in the ribbon also, just for more interest. Now I'm just using my skewer, drawing out some of those um, petals a little bit on the flowers and you will be able to see that better when I get you down for a close-up. Actually making some petals here and there also. I decide that this area here just need a little more color so I'm going to give it a flower here. I played quite a bit with this one, just getting it just the way I wanted it. Okay, a quick torch. And here's our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. Off camera, I just added a few little dots of color there that you can see. I'm really happy the way that this painting turned out. And that's probably one of my favorite areas right there. That's the lower left-hand corner. It's going to take you up more or less the middle here. Again, this is just a little 12 by 12 inch canvas. You can see some of those little columns of flowers that I made. That's the upper right hand corner there. You can feel, see a little bit of the lacing up there in that upper right hand corner. I liked how these flowers turned out. So, and this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Take care everybody. Bye for now.